a local veteran using his brain and his bike to spread a positive message within the city. In this week's Heart of Detroit, Mitch Album introduces us to veteran Travis Peters, who's peddling for peace. Travis Peters enlisted in the Army to earn money for college. Serving tours in Korea and the Persian Gulf, he returned with more than he bargained for. I still have uh, nightmares, visions. Seeing violence at its absolute peak, how did you feel about it when you saw it in your hometown? Nonsense. Can we just wake up, uh, put the guns down? Always wanted to do something uh, to deter crime but I didn't want to be a police officer because I didn't want the responsibility of carrying a firearm. Then one day while riding his bike to work, the gears in his head clicked. Why not pedal for peace? We're a military veteran-led organization that's joined with the Detroit Police Officers Bike Patrol, and we ride out a couple times a week and we report on quality of life issues. It sparks a conversation. A conversation that gives citizens and officers a chance to know each other and work together. With that, Travis hopes to expand Peace Peddlers to every district in Detroit. My long range goal is 572 military veterans to join us. Detroit is 143 square miles. Four Peace Peddlers per square mile. We can cover the entire city of Detroit in less than three hours. And it gives a veteran a sense of worth. Right. That same dignity, that same valor, that same honor and respect that he or she served this great country, they can do that for this great metropolis. Serving his country and now the citizens of his city, Travis Peters is peddling for peace right here in the heart of Detroit. It's a hero pose right now. He's just yeah. <laughs> yes, Travis joins us now live in studio along with Sergeant Kirk Kelsey, the Chief Neighborhood Liaison Officer with Detroit Police. Thank you boys for being here. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. How many veterans um, do you have working with you now? Uh, we have about eight on deck now. Um, that's the amount of bikes that we have from the uh, first grant. Mm -hmm. So over the winter, we're looking to increase that number. Wow. So what does it mean for you and other fellow veterans to serve the community in this way? Because you could have easily been a police officer, but this is different. Uh, yes, it is. Um, s some veterans, uh, like myself, um, after uh, the battlefield, when you come home, uh, it never leaves you. So, um, mm. like myself, taking on the responsibility of carrying a firearm, uh, that's not the way I wanted to approach uh, mm. things. A lot of times in the military, we go on humanitarian projects and uh, supportive efforts where there is no firearm needed and you're able to make a change. So I thought about that aspect of it and bringing that right home in our own backyard. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. Sergeant, what kind of impact uh, has this had, have you noticed? It is a tremendous impact. Uh, while we out riding, the citizens that come, they ride with us, especially the kids. The kids that ride along with us. Uh, we check the green light businesses, which is a, a safe avenue that we have with the department out in the city. So we check all the green lights. Um, we you know, ride through the neighborhoods. You know, people come out and they, they love, they blow their horns at us, they mm -hmm. wave, everything is great. You know, we're looking at video right now, uh, heart of Detroit. Uh, I would imagine there's some camar uh, camaraderie involved in this too. You know, oh yes. Friendship building. Yeah. Oh yes, we've seen cadences, uh, like when we were, you know, back, uh, you know, doing yeah. your basic training or sure. uh, mm -hmm. times on the road marches and things like that. So it's, it's real great. And uh, one of the unique things about the veterans is uh, it's all branches. So it's Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and Coast Guard as well. Wow. It's coming together. So it's to, everyone. Yes everyone. So where can people get more information about your work and maybe getting involved? Well, we actually have it's a Best for Vets meeting tonight. Uh, that's at, what's the address, Travis? 2727 Second Avenue right at Temple uh, Boulevard um, in the Block Building. We'll be in conference room number one. Okay. Yeah, we hold uh, monthly symposiums, actually uh, Best for Vets, Sergeant Deron Bachelor, and uh, Unforgotten Heroes, LLC, Douglas Marble. So they'll be there. It's great. You can in also the Detroit, call, Police uh, Detroit, Detroit Police Department. Detroit Police Department, the Chief's Neighborhood Liaison Office. It's 313-596-2520. You give us a call there and uh, 
We have uh, two uh, veteran liaison officers that work in our office as well, in the chief's office as well. So excellent. Okay. Give us a call. That's great. Thank you both so much for the great work that you're doing in the community. It's an honor. And, and be safe out there peddling around. Yeah. Thank you. We'll be